Hey guys, today's project calls for replacing an active grill on a 2018 and up Chevy Equinox. Hopefully this video helps you out. If you happen to like the video, give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe down below today. The first step is to remove your front bumper. If you're not exactly sure on how to do that, I made a bumper removal video. Go on over to the channel and check that video out first and get that bumper off. First things first, start by locating the part that you'll be replacing. It's really important to take as many photos and videos as you can. That way you're able to put back the car exactly the way it was. To help you out, I took a bunch of pictures and I labeled each one of the bolts that you'll be removing. I'm going to speed up the video right here, so if you want to take a look at any one of these pictures, feel free to pause the video. If not, just skip to 114 in the video. Next, remove four 7mm bolts that are located on top of the radiator bar. We got one, two, three, and four. And here's a picture of where these bolts are located at. Next, remove one 10mm bolt from each side up top. Once you have those two bolts removed, work your way down to the middle of the vehicle to the vertical bar that spans from the top to the bottom of the active grille shutter and remove two 10 millimeter bolts. Next, remove two 7 millimeter bolts from each side of the active grille shutter. So four total and there's also a push pin that you'll have to remove on the passenger side the right hand side of the vehicle all right this is the last bolt you have to remove it is one seven millimeter bolt located on the bottom of the active grille shutter and then after that all you have to do is disconnect the one and only wiring harness and you're able to lift up and pull out the active grill shutter. And it comes out pretty easily, nothing is attached to it and you'll be able to put in a brand new one. To install the brand new active grill shutter that you have, make sure that it has the correct wiring harness. Sometimes they don't always come with the correct one. But to install it, all you have to do is reverse the steps. It's a very easy process. I hope you give the video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it and if it helped you out with your car. Don't forget to subscribe down below today for more videos just like this. And while you're at it, check out our channel and see what we're all about. We have a lot of cool cars on the channel, such as a FRS, a Mustang 5.0, a Chrysler 300 SRT8 and a Hyundai Genesis Coupe. Thanks for taking time out of your day to watch this DNA Drives video and we'll catch you next time. Take care.